We begin with a school bus driver who is speaking out after she is brutally assaulted by a student on her afternoon route. You see it happened right there. That entire attack caught on camera. Well, tonight she's recovering from serious injuries. Fox 31's Nicole Fierro sitting down with that bus driver in an interview you'll see only here on Fox 31. Nicole. Yeah, this bus driver, all she wants to do is go back to getting kids around safely, but she's suffering from physical and emotional trauma, getting 66% of pay from Workman's Comp while trying to recover from the footage you're about to see. We did obtain it from a public records request from police, and we do warn some of it is hard to watch. This is footage of Jeffco school bus driver Laura Owen doing what she loves most. The kids count on us as bus drivers to get us to and from safely, you know, and it's a pride, pride in doing that. Making what happened here on January 29th. <laughs> so much harder to take in. This situation should have never happened. We only implement the bus safety that we are instructed to do per district policy and nothing more than that. This student here coming up behind her, Owen says she initially asked her boyfriend to get off at the next safe stop for moving around the aisles, standing, putting safety in jeopardy. This is a safe place for you since you can't follow the bus rules. The girl here has her mom on the phone threatening her, something Owen says happened another time on the bus just days before too. Straight like that. I heard she's going to kill me. Straight like she's going to kill me. Gosh, she's coming through. Okay. Right. Straight up. I got you. Stop. I got you. No. You need to get off the bus, please. Get off the bus, please. Come on. Escalating to this physical assault, leaving Owen with a concussion, residual and constant ringing in her ears, headaches, neck pain, and emotional trauma. Whatever I can do to get myself better, I can't change what happened. I can only pray that things get safer throughout the district and, you know, for anybody. Yeah, so we reached out to the district. We asked if this student has assaulted another employee in the district before, if she should have been on this bus in the first place. They say they'll get those answers to us tomorrow. In the meantime, they do say that she, that student, is expected in court next month. They also gave us a statement that says in part, it's absolutely unacceptable to us that an employee would come to harm on the job. In reviewing all safety incidents, we strive to improve and strengthen our measures to keep our staff and students safe. Now there is a GoFundMe to support Laura during this time. We have it on this story on our website, kdvr.com. Reporting live, Nicole Fierro, Fox 31. All right, Nicole, thank you.